Hi everyone, I'm Terry Johnson and welcome to Terry's Tuesday Tips. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can design your own designs in Silhouette Studio using Flexi Shapes. Now Flexi Shapes are available in either the Designer Edition Plus or the Business Edition of Silhouette Studio software. And these are paid upgrades. However, they're well worth it. Personally, I feel like if you don't have Business Edition or Designer Edition Plus, you should just go ahead and go all the way to business. That way you have all the features that are available to you in Silhouette Studio. And I'll put a link below on where the really good prices are that you can get those upgrades if you're interested. But again, like I said, we're going to be designing in Silhouette Studio with Flexi Shapes. But we're also going to be using other tools and features in Silhouette Studio, like the Weld feature. I'm going to show you the Knife tool and how you can use that. We're going to be using the Replicate window, the Transform window, the Modify window, and more. There are so many powerful tools in Silhouette Studio that you you can begin creating your own designs right now. So this is the design that I'm going to show you. This is a little wine glass um, and we're not going to be doing the text today. We're just going to be doing the wine glass. Um, I'll link to you the font that I use for this text below if you really like this. But um, this is a saying that my daddy used to say that life is too short to drink bad wine and I tend to agree. agree. So let's get started in Silhouette Studio and I'll show you how you can do some designing. So today I'm going to show you about designing with Flexi Shapes in Silhouette Studio. Now Flexi Shapes are different than the drawing tools. These are the drawing tools, then we'll be using those and these as well, and they come with a basic edition of Silhouette Studio. Flexi Shapes is a feature that is available in Designer Edition Plus or Business Edition. Now, if you are upgrading, I would go ahead and go all the way to design, I mean, excuse me, to business edition. And then that way you'll have all of the features available in Silhouette Studio. So let me show you a little bit about working with Flexi Shapes. I'm going to select this star here. And I was working with something previously that was black. So that's why mine is filled in. I'm going to go ahead and go back to transparent so that you can see more of what we're doing. Now with this star, you're gonna notice there is a slider bar, a red node, and a clear node or white node. They each function differently. The slider bar adjusts how many points my star has. So I am gonna hover my cursor over that slider until I get that four cross post arrow and then I can adjust my star to have, I guess, up to 60 points or down to 8, 10, 12. So you could have a regular five-sided star or you could have something that's more like a sunburst. So that's what the slider bar does. This red node, if I hover with and I get the crosshair, it will adjust the depth of my points. So I can make this look more like the blazing sun at the beach as opposed to just the sun in a sunny day sky. Then our white node will impact the size and the rotation. Now this is a symmetrical design, so rotation doesn't really matter much, but that's what that white node is gonna do. Now we're not working with this little sun today, so I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna select this teardrop shape. I'm gonna drag my teardrop, um, and again, I'm gonna go back to transparent, and this is what we get. You'll notice there are only white nodes on this shape. And so I can adjust the size or I can adjust the rotation. Move it around like this. Okay, so we want to turn this into our wine glass. We're going to do that by coming over here and selecting the knife tool. Now when I select the knife tool, a menu bar pops up here that gives me options. And this is what I want. I want to be cutting this as a solid. I want to treat this shape as a solid and not an outline. I want straight and not any of these other options. And then I want auto apply unchecked. Normally auto apply is the default and when you select your knife tool, it will automatically be selected. You want to deselect that so that you can 
decide when you want to apply the tool. You'll see it in just a minute. So I'm going to bring up my knife tool here and I'm going to hold down the shift key. By holding down the shift key and drawing with my knife tool, it gives me a perfectly straight line. Anytime you're drawing with your um, line tool here or your knife tool and you want it to be straight and, and flat, then make sure you hold down the shift key. Now I can apply this if that's where I think I want it and remove this like this. And actually it looks pretty good, but I'm gonna undo here and um, if I wanted to, I could move my knife tool down just a little bit and then click apply. So you can see the advantages of not applying the knife tool until you're sure it's where you want it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this. You'll see why in just a minute. And actually I'm gonna duplicate it twice. So in order to do that, I'm gonna come over here to the replicate um, panel. There's other ways to duplicate, but I want two additional copies. So I'm going to select here so that I get two, which that one indicates to the right. I want two copies. So now I'm going to move these extra wine the bowls. We can make stemless wine glasses there. Um, um, and I'll need these in just a minute. You'll see why. So I'm going to come back to our flexi shapes and I'm going to select this one, which is kind of like a pie shape. I'm going to draw this about that big. This can be adjusted, so don't worry about it. And then I'm going to make it about like that. Again, transparent. Now, if I wanted to, I could adjust the slider bar here. And that adjusts the uh, length of my wedge. This is going to Make, adjust the angle. So if I wanted it fatter, I would go like that. Now I'm going to take this and using my rotate, um, the little grab that little rotate handle, I'm going to come over here and put this at the base of the bowl of my wine glass. Now that's probably a little bit more like I like it. And it's a little big, so I'm going to scale it down. Select both of these, come up to the quick access toolbar, and select align center. Now we're getting there, but I need a stem. So I'm going to come over to my drawing tools and I'm going to draw a long, whoops, I didn't get it. Let's try again. Here we go. A long, skinny rectangle. I'm going to come over here, line it up with these others, select them all, and align center. Now when I do that, let me zoom in so you can see. Do you see here that my um, the point of this is not really in the center of this, and that's because it's probably not angled. That's a little bit more like I like it. So we'll zoom back out, select all, and we're going to align center. Okay, now we need, um, and I think that stem is probably a little longer than I want. So again, I'm going to take my knife tool, well, that's overkill, I didn't have to draw that much, and apply and get rid of the bottom part of the stem. I'm going to come back to my drawing tools and select an ellipse and I'm going to draw an oval and I'm going to bring that oval up. That's probably bigger than I want, so I'll scale it down a little bit. And again, I'm going to select them all. I am going to align center and I think that looks pretty good. So with these all selected, I'm going to weld and you can do that by right click and weld or I can undo and I can say object. Let's see, uh, modify, there it is, weld. And as you can see, I don't very often, let me undo that. I don't use this very often. So it's object modify 
And for weld, you could do Command, Shift, and W, and that's your keyboard shortcut. All right, so we have our wine glass here. Now, I want to show you one more thing. It'd be okay, as is, but I don't love this right here. I want this to be more curved, really like a wine glass would be. So I'm going to double click on this to get my edit points. I'm going to select this edit point and say make curve. And then I'm going to use this handle right here and maybe come out a little bit more like that to soften that curve. Now, the chances of me getting this side, I can try, but honestly, if I say make curve, the chances of me getting this side to match this side, see, it doesn't match and I don't like it. So here's what we're going to do. Much simpler than playing around with that. I'm going to take my knife tool again draw it holding down the shift key oh i meant it to be longer so let's drag it down so it encompasses our entire wine glass select both of them and then i'm going to come now our, our quick access toolbar is not available to us because the knife tool menu is up here so remember I said there's more than one way to do something? So I'm gonna come over here, click on the Modify panel, and with these both selected, I'm going to say Align Center. Now I'm gonna select my knife tool. You can see that that knife line is centered right in the middle of the wine glass. So I'm going to, um, zoom back out, select my knife tool, and click apply. So that's cut our wine glass in half, and we can get rid of this half. Now, we've only got a half a wine glass now, so let me close out these panels, and I'm going to open the replicate panel. You have a lot of options. We just use the duplicate up here, but we can use the mirror and replicate option here. So this will mirror it and turn it to the left. So that gives us two halves of a wine glass that if you look right here, they're perfectly symmetrical. I'm gonna take this half and using my keyboard arrows, I'm gonna move it over one click so that it barely overlaps by a hair. Now I'm gonna select both pieces, right click and weld, and now we have a complete wine glass, all right? Pretty easy, huh? Now this time, I am going to fill it with black, and I'll show you why in just a minute. Now remember, we had our um, bowl of our wine glass here, and I'm going to fill that with another color, and we're going to make it just a little bit smaller. Come over here. Now it's not showing because it's gone behind our black, so I'm going to click on the black and say Send Backwards. So now my my wine bowl is right there. I might click on these and align vertical center, which they are, and I might move this down just a smidge so that, and I might make it just a little bit bigger. You know, you can spend hours playing around with this, so get it to where you're happy with it. And again, down one more notch. Okay, that looks good. But that's not how I want, I mean, you could leave it like this and you'd have a full wine glass, but that's not what I want. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take both of these, come over again to my modify panel and we're going to subtract. So now I have a very sad empty wine glass and I wanna fill it with a slosh of wine. So now you remember we made our um, wine globe here a little smaller, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna fill it with color just to make this a little easier for you. We'll have a dark red, purple wine there. 
So now we're going to go back to our knife tool, but this time we're going to use a different option. We're going to select the curve tool. And using that, I am going to draw a curved line. Just put some points in it. Draw it about where you think your wine slosh might go. And each time, just click and it will create a curved line. Double click at the end to stop drawing. Now, again, come up. If it's what you want, click apply and boom. You get rid of the top of that wine glass and you've got a wine slosh. Now, I'm double clicking to do some edit points here and I'm going to get rid of a couple of points so it's not quite so jagged. I'm going to click here to add a point and I'm going to make that one a curve. And I think I'll double come in here and click on another point and make that one a curve. You can play around with this again just to edit that curve and to make it smooth so it looks like what you want it to. Now I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller to fit in our wine glass and drag it over here. And um, again, I'm gonna zoom back out, select both the glass and the wine, and I'm going to align center. Now that looks pretty good. So that's it. You can see just how easy it is to use flexi shapes to create. Now, and along with the other tools in Silhouette Studio. And I want you to take a look at the flexi shapes and maybe look at them in a different way. And I wanted to just go over with you very quickly the tools that we use today to get here. Of course, we use the flexi shapes. We use the drawing tools. We use the line tools. We used the modify panel. We use point editing. We used the transform panel and the replicate panel, and we used the scale and our quick access toolbar. We also use the knife tool. So there's a lot of tools that you have used in Silhouette Studio here just in making this one design, and it's a great way to learn the software if you never, ever cut this out. But I hope you do. Now, one more thing. Let me show you real quick. Let me close this out. I added some text and this is from a font called Pacific Again, I believe is the name of it, from, um, from Design Bundles and I'll put the link down for it. But life is too short to drink bad wine. My daddy used to say that and I love it and I thought this is appropriate. So I hope you enjoyed this design lesson and share with us some of the flexi shape designs that you create. And that's just how easy it is to create your own cut files in Silhouette Studio using the flexi shapes, drawing tools, line tools, and so many other features that are available in this powerful software. I love designing my own things. I get inspiration from all kinds of places and then I make it my own. So try it out. Use some of the tools that are available to you. And when you've created your own design, post it in the Facebook group so that we can see what you've done. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like this video and set the notifications so that you'll be notified when the next one comes out. So until then, I hope you have a great week.